to the tube. Welcome back. Get ready to start my next project. Uh, this is going to be a repeat build. Uh, I built this one a couple years ago for my display. It was kind of a last minute prop that I put together. Uh, even though you can see I definitely put some you know time into it. I didn't really put any real details into it. It's very plain, very straightforward. So I want to build another one. Uh, I want to make it a little bit bigger. I want to definitely make it wider, longer, for sure taller. Uh, the section down there where you see my the, my beloved, I want to make like recessed looking panels down there. Uh, I want the base to be at least 30 inches tall. So I want it to look much, uh, much larger, much bigger, much more decorative, you know, kind of thing, a little bit more on the fancier end. Uh, and then when I built this one, I didn't really make a video of how I built it, but it's essentially made from a mixture of a mannequin, pool noodles, fiberglass, a styrofoam head from Hobby Lobby, and a cheap wig. I'm going to be kind of doing the same with this next one as far as uh, what I'll be using, but I am going to be going a slightly different route to make it lighter, and I'm not going to do the flowers on this one. I'm going to go I'm going to go with a different, you know, kind of thing on this, on this one, so you'll just have to wait and see what I do there. So I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, let's get started. All right, this will be the start of it. This is the main piece right here that I have to work with first. This is kind of step one. Now, I won't be actually using the mannequin on the prop itself. Uh, all I'm gonna be using this for is essentially be making my body form, my body shape. So I'll be pulling the arms off. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in plastic, masking tape, all that kind of stuff, just to make sure I get all the proper contours, all the proper shapes. And then once I put three layers of fiberglass mat over top of it, I put, peel that fiberglass off, it'll give me a body uh, form so once it lays down on top of the prop and I put the dress on there It'll 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 give me the contours that I need and by doing it with the fiberglass one is going to keep the weight down too. if say I want to Pose it like maybe have one leg that's kind of sit up a little bit I can make notches in the fiberglass and make it to where I can get different shapes and different angles with it That kind of stuff and then I will come up with a solution for the arms and I'll just pick up You know a styrofoam head from Hobby Lobby and a wig and all that kind of stuff for the rest of the the build. Uh, so this is going to be step one. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, prepping this uh, to put fiberglass on it. Okay, I've made it to this point right here. Now, I, I, everything's all dry. The caulk is all dry. I haven't decided what, what I'm going to do in the squares just yet, but I did make a pretty big design change. My original plan was to obviously have this laying flat uh, and have the front kind of elevated up a little bit and that kind of stuff. But since I technically already have one that's that way, outside of the base being bigger, uh, I want to do something different. I really don't want to have two of them that look the same. So I went back online. I started typing in like graveyard statues, cemetery statues, sitting, kneeling, 
all that kind of stuff. And I think I found one that's gonna that will still work with what I've already started to make here. And what it's gonna be is it's gonna it's gonna be an angel sitting on it. Now it's not gonna be sitting on it like the knees are gonna kind of come up here and it's gonna kind of come up kind of thing. Uh, it'll be sitting like up, you know over the edge of it. So the legs and dress will be hanging over the edge of it. It'll be sitting up right right here. And then I'm gonna be attempting to make wings. Uh, the wings in the picture kind of come up. They curve down. Then once they get towards the base, then they kind of feather out a little bit. So I'm gonna essentially attempt to make that. And I've never made wings before, so hopefully this works out for me. And then it's also going to be attached to its own separate structure so it can be removed. Now, obviously, I'll be I'll be showing all that as I move along. So uh, I'm going to start off by making a few cuts here so I can do that. But the good thing about this being fiberglass is uh, once I make the cuts, I can add more fiberglass to it to round everything back out. So this when I go to do the dress, you don't see like hard 90 degree, you know, corners. I'll be able to float, round it out. And then when I get to the kneecaps, round it out again. So this way it still looks good when I'm done. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. at this point right here I'm fixing to put the clothing on it uh, now I wasn't able to find a one-piece dress that would cover the entire thing and then come down with long enough sleeves to, uh, to cover the transition from the food noodles to the forearm so it's gonna be done in two pieces uh, first we got a, just a regular kind of dress field uh, that's gonna it'll essentially go to a certain point obviously when it's on it comes up a little higher comes up to about here and then I have a secondary one that it which is almost pretty much the same exact fabric so uh, it, it should be much different plus i got the arms that are going to be kind of draping down so it kind of hides it a little bit and this is going to go from here up to here and then come down the arms then what i'll be doing after i put the bottom piece on i'll be screwing a piece of wood to the bottom here and what this is going to be for is because i'm pretty sure i'm going to have a little bit of fabric that's going to kind of drape a little bit and i want it to drape and dry on top of a piece of wood so this way i can after it's dry i'll put a few staples in it that i can hide later what that'll do is so when I go to remove the prop, I don't have to worry about any of the fabric that say kind of sitting like this and doing this and potentially maybe cracking the paint or anything of that nature, you know, because it is fabric and it's never going to be rock solid no matter what you do. I mean, you can get it pretty good, but you never get it rock solid kind of thing. So this will just kind of give me a little bit like a, a base for it to actually sit on top of. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally dunk this in a five gallon jug of paint. I'm not going to do the whole paint mortar uh, kind of thing because I want to be able to really have time to work with this and really get it just the way I want it and just let it dry. And I'll do my normal painting process that I've done on all my other props where I just take and, you know, I'll paint it, make it wet, 
throw my mortar mix on there, let it dry, then I'll put a second coat over top of that to seal it in. And it'll, it'll, still, be, it'll still work out the same way as I would have done it before, but I'm just gonna saturate this first and let it dry. Now, this portion doesn't matter what color paint you use, because you're gonna be painting it a second time anyways. So I, I just got a five gallon jug of uh, some mist, mist paint that I got from a paint company. Uh, they let me have it super cheap. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna be painting it a second time anyways, so it really doesn't matter what color it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by soaking this and uh, getting this all put on the form, sit it up, put the secondary piece on, pin everything in place, and then let it dry. Okay, I've been uh, kind of tinkering with the wings a little bit. Uh, now, this is my very first time ever doing any kind of prop that that's like an angel prop with wings, feathers, the whole nine yards. So go go easy on me a little bit here. Uh, all I'm really trying to do is I'm just trying to give it the illusion of feathers. Because once this thing is fully painted, it's darkened up, it's aged, it's going to be in the dark. It's going to have just ambient lighting showing on it and stuff like that. Realistically, all I'm kind of going for is just the outline of what is you know like a feather simulation i guess you can say so when you're looking at it it looks like there's something you know like feathers there even though it's not really feathers i did look online to try to see what it cost to buy a bunch of feathers and glue them on there but i'd have to do all four sides because depending on where i put this in my cemetery this might be viewed 360 degrees so i can't only do this side right here i got to do both sides and that's how i'm treating this entire prop is both sides are going to be viewed so i just went the much cheaper alternative and just used the caulking Cover the entire thing with caulking and then use the screwdriver to kind of create my my little swoops and stuff like that. Now I'm trying to model the overall look of this uh, from my reference picture that I'm using for the whole angel portion of this prop right here. So that's kind of where I kind of got the overall, you know, shape, I guess you can say. And like I said, I did do both sides because I don't know if like I said this is going to be viewed all the way around or not. So you see I got the back side is done as well. Uh, I still got to finish this up as soon as the caulking dries I got to peel this foil off and I'm going to sand this down So it's you know really thin and smooth and stuff like that. That's essentially kind of like the front It kind of stimulates the the main You know backbone I guess you could say of the wing itself And you could also see where I kind of have like I did kind of like texture did like lines and stuff like that on it To uh, give it a little more of a look to it So all I did there is I just used a piece of cedar shim that's kind of jagged on the end and just as the uh, caulking got to where it was just getting to where it's hard to work with anymore, I just lightly went over it to kind of, you know, feather it out and um, to kind of give it a little bit of realism to them. But the next step now is to go ahead and uh, get these all painted uh, the same neutral color as the statue, get the base painted, and then start doing the aging process. And uh, let's see what this thing looks like all done. I'm doing a last minute detail before I paint it. What I decided to do is take some caulking and kind of come down and make it look like the feathers are kind of laying down on top of it. So as they're coming down. So essentially what I'll do is uh, once that's dry, I'll go ahead and get this painted. And then I will get the two together so I can finish the aging of the two together. And we will see the finished product. Okay, uh, the prop is fully done. Before I show you that uh, finished product, I want to show you something real quick. I remember the uh, video started off with uh, essentially this is uh, the piece I was going to use to essentially create the main form for the prop. So what I'm going to do is before I uh, show the final product, I'm going to go ahead and show you that picture that I was talking about as I was using as a reference picture. Now, obviously, I didn't follow it to the T. I just kind of use it as my base platform, I guess you can say, for the overall design that I wanted to do. Because remember, I made that huge design change from... Uh, originally laying down to the sitting angel. So I'm going to show you that picture real fast and then I will show you the uh, final product. Okay. 
All right, here she is, all done. Now we just added those flowers for now, just temporary, uh, until we find you know something that we might like better. That's just some stuff that I had from previous projects. So I just stuck them in there to try to give it a you know a completed look. But since uh, this prop might be viewed 360 degrees, depending on where I have it staged in my display this year, I made sure that the whole back was also fully done. And you see that last minute detail that I did with the, you know, the whole, you know, feathers kind of draping down. I think turned out really good. I like the way that turned out. Get my shadow out of the way here. I just kind of looked at it as, you know, she had wings that big and she's sitting down. The wings are going to want to like kind of taper like this as it goes. So I went ahead and made that last second change. I did have a little bit of fun trying to create uh, the whole bronze, you know, kind of statue look. And with the oxidation, trying to get just the right amount of green with just the right amount of bronze coming through for... You know, essentially kind of figuring the overall age, I guess you can say, of what the prop is supposed to, you know, kind of look like. So I definitely had a little bit of fun with that. I would add a little, add a little bronze again, then I add a little green again, then a little bit of bronze. I think I got it right where I think I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to go too much because then I might get it to where I don't like it. So I think uh, it's going to stay where it's at. But all in all, I think this one actually came out pretty good. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.